Are you warm? You want the fan on? Uh, okay. It's still warm. You turn up the fan. Okay. I'm cold. You huh. turn off the fan. Okay. Hello guys, Life Hackster here. In today's video, it's time for me to hook up a smart ceiling fan control switch in our bedroom. Somebody in our family, and I'm going to say who, is wanting our bedroom fan on every night, which is fine, but occasionally... You want the fan on? I can feel the fan. It's still warm. I'm cold. And that happens all through the night. So I decided that I'm going to hook up a smart fan control switch so that we can schedule and also use our Amazon Echo devices to not only turn on and off the fan, but also change its speed. Changing fan speed is a feature that made me end up getting a fan control switch than just getting a regular smart switch, which will only turn on and off the fan and not control its speed. Controlling your ceiling fan using a smart switch is not for everyone, and you will not be able to use it especially if your fan has its own remote control. Also, a neutral wire is required to install this, so if your house was built before the mid-80s, you might not have a neutral wire in your house's wiring. Also, this particular switch that I bought only controls the fan. There's another switch that you can get if you also want to control the light. In my setup, we have a combo ceiling fan with light fixture, but I have two independent toggle switches, one for the light and one for the fan. Speed control of the fan is still in the fixture itself, you know, using the pull chain. I'm not going to change the light switch to a smart switch because I actually have Y smart bulbs on it, which has been working good and I did review this a while back and I'm still using them. And I will link that review video in the description down below if you want to check it out. There are only limited brands that makes a smart fan control switch and I also don't want to get ones that are needing a separate hub. What I found in Amazon is the Treat Life brand, which I haven't really heard of, but has good reviews. And also is just a fan control switch, which is the one that I need. And I'm fine with needing a separate app because more than likely I'm not going to use the app anyways and will mostly control the fan using Amazon Alex A or from the Switch itself. By the way, if you find this video helpful, don't forget to share and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. I appreciate it and thank you. The smart switch can be controlled with Google and Amazon Alex A and it has four fan speeds, remote control, timer, and schedule. Also note here that neutral wire is required for this to work. Inside the box, we have the switch itself, front and center, and we have a user manual and wire labels, and we have some screws and wire nuts. The switch comes with a wall plate, which I will not be able to use because I have a two gang box. We have the main on and off switch here in the front, and we have the fan speed buttons, and it has four speeds. On the back, we have the wires. We have the green or ground, we have the white or neutral, black is the hot or the line wire, yellow is the load or the one going to the fan wire. Time to install this, but disclaimer, I'm not an electrician and I'm just a DIYer. If you have any doubts on installing this, hire an electrician. Do your due diligence. Now, there's a couple things that I need to do before I turn off power from the breaker box. First, turn the fan on and set it to the highest fan speed using the pull chain. Then turn it off from the switch and you will need some type of a voltage tester. I have been using this Fluke Volt Alert. It will light up and beep if it is close to a live wire. Unscrew and remove the wall plate. Because I have a two gang switch and I'm keeping my toggle light switch, I cannot reuse the wall plate and I also cannot use the wall plate that came with the fan control switch. So I will need to pop it off. And then now I'll be able to install this on this box. I will need a new wall plate with a combo decorator and toggle opening. You can easily find them in your local big box hardware store and I will also link all the products that I use in this video in the description down below. On the fan switch, which is on the left side, you will see it is connected to two wires. With a tester, you want to know which one is the line or the hot wire. So the top wire is the main line. Remember that and time to turn off the breakers which I used one of my UV battery cameras as a live monitor to make sure I turned off the right breaker. Going back inside, unscrew the fan switch. We need to label the top wire as the line wire and the bottom one which goes to the fan as the fan load. We need to pull out all the rest of the wires that we need. We have the white or neutral wire and the bare copper wire is the ground. 
remove, cut, and strip the two wires. Now, this is the time to update my connectors too, and I'll be using Wego connectors. In my case here, I will need the three wire connector for my neutral wire. Just flip the tab up, insert the wire, and flip it down. Just repeat the process for all your connections. Give it a quick tug to make sure you have a good connection. I'll connect the white wire of the smart switch to my neutral connection. Then my line wire to the black wire of the switch. Then the fan load to the yellow wire of the switch. Then the bare copper wire to the green or ground wire. Double check your connections and tap the wires in on the box as much as you can so that you have space to put in the new fan controller switch. Screw in the switch with the included machine screws and not too tight because you will need to align it to the wall plate. Put in the wall plate and screw it in to secure the switches and the plate in place. Time to turn on the power from your breaker box. Download, sign up, and log in to the Treat Life app. Click Add Device and your switch will be automatically found. Click Go to Add. Type in your Wi-Fi's password and click Next, and wait until it's successfully added. Click Done. Let's test this out. Click the fan icon to turn on the fan, and pull up the slider to change fan speed to level 2, level 3, and level 4. And that works pretty good. As I said earlier, more than likely I'm not going to use the Treat Life app, so let's set this up with Amazon Alex A. Open up the Alex A app, click Devices, Click the plus sign on the upper right corner. Click Add Device. Search for Treat Life. Click Next. Click Enable to Use. And we need to associate my Treat Life account. I have to log in using my Treat Life credentials. And click Authorize. And wait until it is successfully linked. Click Close. And click Discover Devices. Choose your switch to set up. And it is going to be in our bedroom group. I have to change the name of the switch, so in the devices list, click on the switch, gear icon to go to the settings, and edit name. And I'll rename this Master Fan. Let's see if we can control the fan from the Alexei app. Cool. Pretty responsive. And you can also set the fan speed from here. Alright, so we are going to test uh, the uh, light switch itself, the physical light switch, if it turns on. I don't know if you can hear that, I bet you can see it works oh yeah that's the fastest there should be a light here i didn't i'm not seeing it right now oh yeah very dim i don't know if you can see that there's a like a little what this the fan speed going on three two and one. That's the lowest speed. Turn on master fan. Okay. Set master fan to speed two. Okay. Set master fan to speed four. Okay. And with Alex A routines, you can easily customize your commands, like set fan speed to tornado. Okay. These Street Life Smart Fan Control Switch is actually pretty good and pretty responsive. I might install a couple more in my kids' rooms and probably going to try out their smart switches too. Anyways, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.